Remember the 70s? A time when certain skills were not just useful, but essential. For the baby boomer generation, these skills were a blend of lessons from teachers, wisdom from parents, and self-taught mastery. Today, they may seem like charming relics of a bygone era, but back then, they were the linchpins of daily life. From the mental gymnastics of memorizing phone numbers to the art of cursive writing, these skills defined a generation. Join us as we dive into a hilarious and nostalgic journey, exploring skills like map reading, letter writing, typewriter typing, and balancing checkbooks, quintessential abilities that now seem almost unthinkable. Who doesn't remember the days when memorizing phone numbers was a rite of passage? People had to remember their home number and the number of friends and family, which was quite a challenging task for the memory. It was indeed a commendable skill, something which iPhone or Android users can't relate to. Imagine being stranded by a payphone with no contacts at your fingertips. In those moments, these memorized numbers were your only lifeline. Every call held the potential for an important message, making each ring a moment of suspense and connection at a time when communication was more straightforward. Was it from a friend, a telemarketer, or an urgent message for your family? You never knew till you picked it up. Similar was the case with messages for yourself or other members of the household. You couldn't simply save the message or forward it, so you had to keep it saved in your mind till you know, you delivered it to the person. There was a makeshift directory as well as essential numbers, which were usually scribbled near the telephone. If you think this was challenging, this is only the start. Phone calls aren't the only skill that's been replaced by mobile phones but also the skill of venturing into the unknown with nothing but a map in your hands. Yes, the skill of navigating maps in the era without the GPS or digital maps. Reading those maps was nothing short of an art form requiring skill and patience. Every inch held a clue, and navigating in real time meant unfolding paper and changing landscapes at the same time, which was quite challenging. Encountering unexpected roadblocks or construction, which wasn't updated regularly on a piece of paper, unlike GPS, might seem a hassle for generations nowadays, but it was an opportunity for them, an opportunity for instant adventures. Imagine a group of friends on a road trip, the map spread across their laps, there's laughter and lighthearted debates over which route to take. Every wrong turn isn't a mistake, but an opportunity, an invitation to unscripted adventures. These journeys were not just about reaching a destination, but about the stories that unfolded along the way. Unlike GPS, guided precisely to the destination with your eyes constantly stuck to the screen, those paper maps were accomplices in crafting stories of unplanned detours, scenic surprises, and the kind of navigation that involved more heart and less technology. Sure, it wasn't the easiest, but even then, getting lost was nearly impossible. If you feel too tech dependent, then it's too early for you to have those feelings, as we've got another skill that's going to leave you in awe. The skill that rivals the documentation of this generation, toppling the set of fonts that seems compelling. The skill of enveloping your messages, your thoughts, your feelings into elegant swirls and loops. The art of cursive writing. Cursive writing wasn't just a style, but a hallmark, adding a personal touch to our letters and documents. Remember the dance of pen on paper, crafting a beautifully written note, the ink trailing behind like a signature of your thoughts. It was a skill of infusing our words with grace and personality, which we first absorbed from watching our parents and later honed in the early years of elementary school. Cursive wasn't just about improving fine motor skills, but each stroke carried a bit of who we were, making our writing uniquely ours. Compared to it, text messaging just couldn't capture that essence, that form of self-expression that gave our words a touch of timeless elegance. Well, the elegance doesn't stop there. Remember mixing that cursive writing with your thoughts for someone you deemed special? Such was the art of letter writing a way of communication that existed for centuries. Handwritten letters were a lifeline for long-distance communication before the era of telephones. 
It wasn't just about words on paper, but a practice that taught us patience and left a mark on the 20th century. Letter writing was more than a task. It was an art form, a ritual that spoke of patience, care, and the personal touch that's since been lost in the digital shuffle. Remember the satisfaction of seeing an envelope, knowing that your words would cover distances to reach someone you held special? These letters were vessels of emotions, creating lasting memories that turned into keepsakes for some. Each word held a piece of the writer's heart that instilled anticipation in the heart of the receiver. It wasn't just about communication, but a thread that strengthened connections between people. A thread that's somewhat faded in today's world of instant messages and emails. There really is no substitute for a tear-stained letter from somebody you love who's expressing how much they miss you. And that just can't be conveyed by an emoji. I will say that not all documentation and messages were done by hand in the 70s. Remember that sound? The clatter of keys, the ding at the end of a line, and the manual slide of the carriage return. A sound familiar to the people of the era, the era before the introduction of keyboards and keypads. The typewriter, with its clattering keys and ink-stained ribbons, was more than a machine, but a delicate tool. Operating a typewriter required skills like aligning your fingers and memorizing the keyboard layout for faster typing speed. The tactile satisfaction of feeding a fresh sheet of paper, the routine of changing the ink ribbon, and the meticulous care in dusting the type bars. These were the essential ceremonies of typewriter maintenance. And who can forget the lessons of detail orientation that those things instilled in us? One wrong keystroke and you were reminded that perfection was an expectation, not an option. In a world without delete buttons, every letter typed was a commitment, a deliberate choice being made. Talking about avoiding mistakes, there was another essential skill that required keen focus and zero room for error. The skill of balancing your finances. You remember the satisfaction of taking off the transactions, ensuring that every last penny added up? It was more than just numbers on paper, it was a connection to our financial reality. Balancing the checkbooks was a monthly task, occupying people with the numbers, income, and all of their expenses. It wasn't just about crunching numbers, but about understanding the value of money. Compared to today's world of effortless spending with credit and debit cards, this was about living within our means. Taking the time to reconcile our checkbook wasn't just a task, but a practice that taught us financial literacy and a sense of control over our resources. While balancing checkbooks symbolized the practical and methodical side of the 70s, the era also embraced creativity and personal expression most notably through the art of making mixtapes on cassettes. Dive into the art of making mixtapes on cassettes, beloved ritual of the 70s. This was more than just compiling songs. It was an intimate craft of patience and timing. Just imagine sitting by the radio, eagerly waiting for your favorite tune, ready to hit record. Crafting the perfect mixtape was like weaving a story, where each song was a chapter filled with personal meaning. The joy in creating this musical journey was unmatched, especially when gifting it to someone special. In a world now dominated by digital playlists, the tangible heartfelt experience of making a mixtape remains a treasured slice of the past, a testament to the personalized way that we once shared music and memories. It was also a great way to pick up chicks too. As we wrap up our nostalgic journey through the 70s, it's evident how these once crucial skills have gently faded from modern existence. Reflecting on them, do you feel a tug of curiosity, a desire to rediscover those old letters tucked away in the attic, or to revive the typewriter that's been gathering dust, just yearning for a touch? If so, then subscribe to the channel and share your favorite skills from the 70s in the comments below. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you in our next video.